I saw a few of these soft robotic grippers on YouTube and I think they are really cool. They are made out of a piece of silicone which is hollow, so when you pressurize it, it expands. The gripper has a sheet of fabric on one side which prevents it from expanding. So when you pressurize the gripper, only one side expands. This forces the gripper to close which can be used to grip foods and fragile objects. I saw this and I don't think it will be too hard to build. I mean, I've seen some kids do it. It obviously didn't work. Too rigid that my finger doesn't have enough surface area fucked up. To make my gripper, I'm gonna be using this silicone which has a shore hardness of 25A. This is quite soft, so it should expand easily. I copied the mold design from YouTube. It is a mold for the part of the gripper which expands. And since it's a mold, the plastic pieces are gonna be air and the rest is gonna be the silicone structure. As you can see, it has many ribs, which will prevent the gripper from expanding upwards. So it will expand more along the length of the gripper. At least this is what I think the ribs are for, I'm not sure. As I was mixing the silicone, I forgot how viscous it is. So I don't think it will flow into all of the cracks. I tried shaking it, but I don't think it helped much. Silicone usually cures in about a day, but this cured only in two hours because I've put more part B in the mixture. It wasn't easy to take out the silicone, because there's a lot of friction between the silicone and the mold, and there's also suction. But I've managed to do it by pulling on it. This looks really cool, but it obviously didn't work. You can see there are holes in the walls, and the ribs aren't fully formed. It's quite flexible though, which is good. Alright, since the last one didn't work, I decided to change the design. I've made it so you have a bath where you pour the silicone, and then from the top you insert the mold. This should make it uh, fill out the mold better, because you're pushing the mold onto the silicone. At least I think so. Since I believe it will work, I've also created a mold for the inner side of the gripper, and I've put this octopus suction cup pattern on it. Since I'm gonna mix the silicone and pour it into the main mold anyway, I decided I'm gonna test the, the fabric which will go into the inner side of the gripper. The fabric needs to be rigid so it doesn't expand with the silicone, that's the whole point of it. And it also needs to bond to the silicone well. So I have these two fabrics, I'm gonna test both of them. I'm gonna pull on the two pieces and see how much force it takes to separate them from the silicone. Here I'm putting the main mold into the silicone bath. The main mold has two pins on each side, which help it align so it is suspended in the center of the bath. Then I started putting silicone onto the fabric for the testing. And at this point the silicone was already half solidified because I've put so much part B in the mixture. When I was testing the two fabrics, the black one was quite easy to pull out while the orange one bonded to the silicone much better. It sucks because the orange one is quite ugly and the black one would look much better on the gripper. I gave the gripper about an hour more to cure just to be safe. This gripper was even harder to take out than the one before. I wasn't even sure if I could do it. I've took the gripper out of the mold and then I took a razor blade and cut the excess silicone around it. I also made this hole for inserting a tube so I will be able to pressurize the gripper. I could probably play with this for a whole day. It's quite stretchy. You can see the 3D printed lines. The ribs aren't perfect, but I think this should work. Alright, let's cast the inner side. I've put more part B in the mixture again, because I am impatient and I want it to cure as fast as possible. And stop, right here, this is where I made a mistake. Yeah, that was it. We're gonna see the aftermath in a minute or so. I again cut out any excess silicone and then it was time to test the gripper. I used a pump which is connected to a tube and I pressed the tube against the hole of the gripper. Since there was a leak, I couldn't really test it, but I didn't need to. So this obviously didn't work, I can just feel it's too rigid, 
it's probably half full of silicone. So I'm gonna cut it in half to see the cross section and to figure out how much I fucked this up. Yeah, this obviously doesn't have enough surface area to work. Force is just pressure times the surface area. So even if this didn't leak, my pump doesn't have enough pressure to expand the silicone. So I'm gonna recast it and I'm just not gonna press it that much into the inner side. Fuck it, I'm making a new version. It's basically the same as the last version, but I've increased the cross-section area along the gripper, so it will be easier to expand. I first poured the silicone on top of the mold, and I was hoping the silicone would flow in between the ribs and cover all the walls, but I'm not sure if this will work. This mold was impossible to open. I added this plastic along the mold. I was hoping I would just pull on it and the mold would open, but this wasn't the case. The only thing that ended up working was sacrificing my blood. I'm not kidding. I used this tool for removing 3D prints and to open the mold, I had to hold it so tightly that I cut my finger a few times. So yeah, you can see the red stuff. When I got the gripper out, I noticed that it wasn't solidified completely, so I just let it sit for an hour or so and waited for it to solidify. This time I used less silicone on the inner side, and when I was pressing the two parts together I used less force. The silicone started solidifying too quickly again. I should probably chill out with the part B. This mold is obviously too hard to open, so I won't be able to cast anything bigger than this. Plus I cut myself. And uh, yeah, that's it, I just wanted to say I fucked up. Nice. This is great. It feels nice, it's squishy and it has a lot of air inside. The gripper kind of works, it looks really cool when it's expanded, it's not even square anymore, it gets rounder as I apply more pressure, but it doesn't bend all the way. I could probably make it bend more if I applied more pressure, but I want this to work at lower pressures and I don't have a better pump. Let me know if you find this interesting, if I should make a part 2 with a better design and make an actual gripper with 3 fingers.